Hello everybody. The Summit vacuum cleaner is done. Yes, it's been refurbished. I thought I'd get the after video done straight away. So there's not a big gap and there's no hanging round as I tend to do. So the previous video on my channel you've seen to this is the before. So I'm going to put the after video directly after it, which makes sense. And it has come out, I think, reasonably well. Um, let's take a look. The only thing I'm not happy with whether I put it together too soon and the paint was still tacky but all there, the paint's chipped off and that's been happening as the plug's been banging on there like that so that's a bit annoying but the rest of it's come out very well a uh, bit of a mark on it there that needs wiping off but I mean compared to the, well you saw the black that it was I mean it's come out looking brand new really the paint I didn't have any roundels so I printed that off and laminated it and stuck it down with double side sticky, but it looks quite good really. So that's a good idea if you need a Hoover Senior logo. Had to do a few prototypes though to get the right size. Um, the hood was painted with Hammerite silver. Now I couldn't get that off and there's a little crack in the hood somewhere, I think it's down there. So the state the hood was in, I thought I'll spray over it silver, which is what I've done. So it needs a new hood really. Um, the bumper has been changed to white, as it would have been when it left the factory. Unless it would have had a grey one, I don't know. I know some of them did have a grey one. The, the 6525 or 652A, which was the grey one, I think it was a grey one, that had a grey bumper, so maybe it would have had that. But I've put a white one on and it doesn't look out of place at all, so great. Um, the lens was full of black paint, as you saw. Two bottles, not one, but two bottles of nail polish remover later, and all that paint is gone. I tried paint for oh God, paint thinner. That didn't work. What else did I try? White spirit. Well, white spirit is paint thinner. I tried a few different things, and what got rid of the paint off that in the end was Sainsbury's nail varnish remover. So if you need to get some paint off, go to Sainsbury's. Um, it's a bit of a parts machine, this, as in it's, I, I don't know. It's funny because I've got a few reasons to believe that it wasn't just a normal 652 when it left the factory. Um, there were just things about it as I was taking it apart and that, that I noticed weren't normal, really. One of the things is, now, I can't, I can't really see the base being a you know a copy base not a genuine to me this is probably a genuine hoover base but underneath there's no markings mentioned in 652 at all there's none so i was a bit unsure about that really um what was the other thing i noticed i can't remember anyway we'll tip the machine and i'll show you you have a look underneath and if you press it again it'll go flat Here's the underneath. It's come out lovely and white. Not that horrible black that it was painted before. And much to my, well, not disgust, <laughs> but much to my disappointment, I suppose, I've had to put the brand new brush roll that I had spare in it. Um, which isn't, well, it's not a bad thing, but the, I mean, it didn't come with a brush roll, as you know, and that's why I've done that. And it's not a bad thing, but I've had to do that because there wasn't one in it. Now, I only had one complete spare new old stock agitator. So having to use it on this, not that this is a bad machine, it's come out quite nice. But it's, you know, I'd rather have used it on a new in the box senior or something like that. Not that there's many of them floating around, but, you know, a machine that was completely... I don't know, I just, using that, I wasn't too happy. But, you know, I couldn't use it without it. So I put it in, bought a second-hand base plate off of eBay, bought a new old stock fan pulley. And, yeah, I mean, did, well, you'd seen the underneath of it before, didn't you? So you know what it was like. So I'll show you it now. There you go, in there, lovely and white. So we've got a new, genuine Hoover belt. New old stock fan pulley and obviously the brand new, hmm, the brand new roller. Anyway, there you go. Now I've just remembered I had a problem getting this back on last time because the clips were springing out the way and I think it's doing it again now. It's hard to do one handed so I might have to put you down if I can't get it to stay on. 
it's hard to do this part for some reason. There we go, I've done it. Surprised I managed to do that one handed. And then obviously you put the clips back on like that and that locks it in position. Take note how this model does have clips on later ones and the commercial version that was replaced with two screws because at some point during the late 80s, early 90s, it became illegal. Well, I don't know about illegal, but it was not to the requirements. You had to have the base plate screwed down. They had to, you had to use a screwdriver, basically, to get the base plate off of a vacuum cleaner. That was the rule that was introduced, and obviously you couldn't have two clips. The idea behind it was for children, really, because, I mean, I don't know, if this cleaner was left out and there were kids playing around, and they, you know, start taking it apart, which is very easy to do because all you've got to do is that, you know, straight away the base plate's off, the, the sharp blades of the, va the van, the fan, and there's a spinning brush exposed as well as the belt all turning at a very high RPM. So, you know, an adventurous kid with that put together and the machine plugged in isn't going to end very well. So I think that's why that rule was introduced, you know, which, you know, kids are curious. So, you know, if it was flipped over and they take the base plate off and think, mm, I wonder how this works and they plug it in and they start touching stuff. Well, I think that's why that was introduced. But here, where it new, normally say here, Hoover Senior 652, it doesn't say anything at all. It's just blank. So I wasn't too sure about that. Um, and whether this makes it an earlier one or not, I think, I don't think I've got anything else to show you under here. Have I? No, I mean, some had a model on there, but that's not even got that. Anyway, isn't it lovely? Lovely and resprayed. Um, this here, this was the other thing I was a bit unsure about. That clip, the bag retainer thing, it's not, the later ones, I know were a, a little plastic clip, as quite a few of them are, but this is a proper metal springy thing. And again, I think the commercial version had that as well, so I was unsure whether, I thought this might have been a resprayed commercial, but I don't think it's that. Um, but yeah, so I think it's an early one, because I know the earlier ones use that design, which is a bit more durable. Um, I didn't put the black bag back on because it wouldn't have gone, obviously, and the zip had snapped off. I needed a new zip threading on. But I had this spare, uh, this silvery grey bag, and I thought, well, I've sprayed the hood silver, and it's got a grey handle grip, so I thought that'll go quite nicely. So if you look, it doesn't look too bad now at all, really. I've fitted a bag inside it anyway. Um, I found this bag here with a funny little pattern on. Well, I say funny, but... It's got a little picture of a vacuum cleaner on it, so <laughs> I thought I'll use that. I found that bag in, um, well, I, I do some care work part-time, actually, and one of the customers, the later for the lady I look after, that was in, in the house, that old bag in the cupboard from years ago, so they obviously had a Hoover Senior at some point, because it was with that and two Senior belts, which they let me have, so that's where that bag's come from. Um, what else is there to show you? The height adjustment. Now, I did mention before it wasn't working properly, and it's still not, unfortunately. So I won't be adjusting the height to demonstrate. Um, I've set it previous to recording. I've set it to position two, which this is quite, you know, it's got quite a good pile on it, this carpet. Well, there's my hand. And look how much of my nail disappears in the carpet. So it is quite deep. Um, so position two will suit this nicely. So because it's fiddly to adjust because it sticks a bit. I've adjusted that before recording the video. So I'm not going to show you adjusting that. I have already adjusted the position. So bad things about it. That, as I said before. And whoever had done this, they were just trying to make a quick book, I think, because they just sprayed all the parts. That's a rubber and you shouldn't really spray rubber, but they'd sprayed it black. So, obviously, the nail varnish removers helped to some degree, but it's not completely sorted it out. I think the black has seeped into the rubber, because obviously it's not bright white as it should be. It's still quite black, as are the pedals. You can tell they were a different colour, but hey-ho, it's going to be used, and it's going to be me using it. And, you know, I bought it for a tenner. 
if I was to put eBay, if I was to put this on eBay now, keep getting my words mixed up, I'm sure it would go for more than a tenner with postage. I mean, I've spent, how much have I spent on it? The spray paint, what was that? I think I spent 20 quid on spray paint. Um, I got that brush roll, the new old stock one last year. That was 25 quid. So 25, 35, 45, and the fan pulley was a fiver. So I spent 50 quid on it, so I'd hope it's worth at least 60. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other thing. The bottom cord hook was snapped off, as you saw before, because it was plastic. So I had one of them spare, new old stock, or just new. I think they still make them, actually. They're only a piece of metal, aren't they? So it's not that hard. So I sprayed that white and screwed it on there. So that is now sorted. It's got a nice new long cable on with a, a plug relevant from the time. Well... The plug's probably a bit too new because the pins are sleeved. Um, but yeah, British Home Stores. Lovely shop, gone bust sadly. Um, yeah, and that's it really. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, this was another reason why I was unsure about it. The top cord hook was metal. Fine. The bottom one was a swivel one made out of plastic, which is strange. You don't normally find a bottom plastic hook with a top metal one it's usually a bottom fixed metal one with a swiveling top plastic one so i was a bit confused about that as well really so that that got me thinking hmm what's been going on here um but yeah i'm trying to think now i'm sure there was something else why i didn't think it was an ordinary senior it probably is it's just oh yeah well i, I told you about that didn't i the funny bag hook that's just probably from an earlier model yeah, I think that's it, really. So it all came apart. Most of it was oiled. It was spray painted. Um, all the paints come off the lens, as I showed you before. And there's now a bulb in the headlight holder, which there was one. I thought there would be. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's got an incandescent, I think the 15 watt, an incandescent 15 watt bulb in. I don't like putting LED bulbs in. I like the machines to have what they would have had when they were new. Um, so that's it really. So I've not used this since refurbishing it. So I'm going to use it for the first time now because it's this time of the year again where the tree goes up. And as you know, when you put the tree up, you get a load of mess on the floor. So I thought, what better thing to use than this newly refurbished? I've never ever used it. Well, I've never used it really at all because I couldn't before because it had no base plate. And I've not used it since it's been refurbished. So I thought I'll share this very special moment <laughs> with you people. So I think I ran it in the video. You heard how it sounded before. So you can hear how it sounds now after being oiled. So we'll just undo the cable from here. Which might take a while because the cord hooks aren't swivel hook cord hooks. So it is an earlier one I think because... Saying that, I told you before, the bottom one used to swivel. So it's a bit of a mystery machine, really. Anyway, it's got a nice long run of cable on it, which is exactly what you want, so you don't have to keep unplugging constantly. Um, yeah, so we'll do a little pickup test, which it will do no problem, I am sure. So, tell you what, I'll unplug this. That's what we'll do. Okay, so I'll do one pass first through the middle of all this so we can see how it does. I've got no, you know, I've got no doubt that it will do great, really. Anyway, here we go. Well, there's one pass and you can see where it's groomed the carpet it's done a great job there and there is not one um what do they call them there's not one needle left on the carpet it's done a really good job you can actually see the line there where it's groomed the carpet they certainly don't make cleaners like this anymore that's for sure give you a shot of the headlight working because i'm not sure you saw that There you go. Yeah, so 
we're all good there so I'll just clean the rest of it up quickly and then we'll conclude the video I'm very happy with it really and as I say it's not going to be stored away or something it's going to be used so the fact it's not perfect and so original factory specifications doesn't bother me because it's going to be used so anyway here we go There we are, not bad for a tenner eh, the tenner that I paid for it. So yeah, it's done a great job, I mean I'll do it properly obviously after stopping the video, I'll do a proper clean but it's not left anything, you only need to do one sweep and all the muck's gone. It's absolutely brilliant and I really look forward to using it, I mean I've got quite a few long pile carpets in this house, that is quite long pile in here and the pile in the lounge is even longer. It's about that long, so I really shall enjoy using it. You know, a good old-fashioned hoover on a long pile car, but you can't get better than that. So, thank you for watching this video, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.